You know, I knew that was going to happen. At any rate, those, those worms over here, I believe on your... Uh, I believe on a higher difficulty or on your second playthrough of the game, I believe those guys actually can uh, shoot projectiles at you, which makes this part of the game twice as bad. Alright, I need some armor. It's not well for a knight to walk around in his underwear. There we go. Damn it. Whole time I was... Oh, piss. I s just instinctively jumped back for the treasure chest, not thinking that... Oh yeah, you're gonna fall into the brambles. This game is not for the faint of heart. That was luck. I can never remember if, if you'll hit that by running into it or not, so I just duck. Come on. Oh yeah, you gotta walk this one. Now, I know there's a way to shortcut this and drop all the way down to the next level, but I don't remember how to time it or anything, so I'm just gonna take the, the long way. Alright, here's the boss. Now, if I remember correctly, yes, you can just sit here and take out the first couple hearts. Oh shit. Uh, damn! <sighs> when I said this game was not for the faint of heart, I meant it. Come on. There we go. There. One heart down. Two hearts down. See, you're on top of a giant worm, as you can see here, and the whole goal is to take out all of its hearts. But of course, you can't always hit the hearts, and this big worm that runs around it like this is completely invincible. So you have to dodge it, kill the little worms. Come on now, don't do that to me. You can hit all the heart, the two heart. There we go. As you guys saw, you can hit some of the hearts from the side over there. Oh boy. And this is where the game gets stupid. Especially these assholes. Ugh! And they you cannot scroll them off the screen or do anything else like that to them. You have to kill them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Well, that was luck. They're usually never that easy to kill. Uh. Frustrating this is. Yes. Fuck. Okay. I can do this. 
Well, I take that back. Maybe I can't, because... Yeah. Piss. Once you get past those red devils... Well, I'm not going to say the rest of this level isn't as hard, but... It's a little less frustrating, because the red devils are... Completely unpredictable. At least, I, they seem to me to be completely unpredictable. I'm sure someone has figured out the algorithm of their movement and knows how to manipulate the algorithm to kill them every time, but... Look, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at video games, but I just... yeah. Great, now I gotta deal with two of them. Ah! Not cool. Why am I still playing this game? That isn't something I came up with just for, you know, oh, let's make this a video series. No, I found myself playing games like this and just hanging out with my wife, and pulling the stuff up on the virtual console or whatever, and my wife looking and saying, I don't know how you play a game like this, and me saying, yeah, I, I don't know why I'm still playing this game, because it's so frustrating. There. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck stockings. There's my armor back, at least. Finally! God damn! Damn pigs who puke on you. I do not want that weapon. That weapon may be strong, but it's essentially useless in this part of the game. Magic armor, however, would be welcomed. Come on. Back. Alright. What's the pattern here? That's right. Yeah, you wait for that, then up. Up. There we go. And that, of course, was the boss of the first game, so you look at that and go, oh shit. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, damn, how many shots does that thing take? He certainly didn't take that many when he was the boss of the first level and had a complete body that he was attached to. Fuck. And, of course, no armor. Oh, piss. Yes, I get a little frustrated when I play this game. Shit. There. Fuck! Come on. That's gonna kill me again, isn't it? No good. 
Now, of course, this one you can just leave, but I have to kill him just on general principle. If you don't kill... Shit! If you don't kill all of those damn things, they will follow you.